<sighs> Hi, I'm Chelsea Prendez, and welcome to Body Shots. I'm standing right in front of JC Bartending Academy, where we will learn what it takes to become a bartender. We'll go step by step through the process of becoming a bar baron. Rookie bartenders go glass to glass in our bartender challenge. Don't worry about the girls, we'll catch up with them in a little bit. Victoria with her drinking game, and Jamie Lynn and Tana with mixing it up in trivia. Bartenders are the guys in movies who lend you an ear as you drown your sorrows. Or, they show you tricks juggling bottles in the air with the finesse that only bartenders have. But how do these drink masters get their start? I'm here at JC Bartending Academy with Carol Wooden, and I'm going to talk to her about her amazing bartending school and find out just how these bartenders land one of the coolest jobs ever. Carol, thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. You are just beautiful. Thank you. First you of all, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Now listen, how did you get your start here at this bartending academy? So JC Bartending started as a mobile bartending company five years ago. And actually we decided to expand our operations to include the bartending academy because of the economic growth that North, the North Dallas area is ex experiencing. So we want to be able to provide these restaurants and bar managers to fill their bartending. Thank you so much, Carol. Thank you. I'm so excited to take a tour of this amazing facility. And we all know Jamie Lynn and Tana know their way behind a bar. Let's see what they're making right now. Jamie, I don't think I can drink this. Sure you can. Sweat? I can't stand it when I sweat. I mean, if I were to sweat, which I don't. Tana. It's not always about you. It's buffalo sweat. Nasty. No, it's a shot. It's one ounce of bourbon and one dash of Tabasco sauce in a shot glass. Then shoot. This is a strong drink, not for the faint of heart. It's sure to put hair on your chest. Great education begins in a classroom, and bartending is no different. I'm here with Professor Moose to find out exactly what these students learn here at JC Bartending Academy. Moose, thanks for having us. Thank you, Chelsea. Now let's talk about this Bartending Academy. What do the students have to learn here other than obviously pouring drinks? You guys have like classroom. Tell me about the courses that you guys have. Well, we take into consideration that everybody learns differently, so mm -hmm. we provide them with a lot of reading material, advanced uh, lecturing, uh, and of course, a lot of hands-on practice in tech, with technique and one-on-one -on -one advisement and instruction as they practice. Right, so just basically like a regular school. They have exactly. to learn, do, they have to take like written tests. Written tests. As well as drink as, tests. As, as definitely at the end, they're definitely gonna have to be able to pass a drink test to move on. Okay, well Moose, thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, there's just so much involved in bartending and actually learning the profession of bartending from classroom to learning how to speak to people to making drinks. I mean, laws, there's just tons involved. Next, I'm actually gonna go hang out with the students and we're gonna do this awesome bartender challenge. Hopefully I'm gonna get involved and uh, hopefully learn some tips here from Moose to win. But first, Dr. Lush, let's see what she has in store for us. Hello class, Dr. Lush here. I've noticed that a fair number of you have been wearing your trucker hats to class, even though you know you're not supposed to. And although we serve a wide array of food here in the cafeteria, some of you just can't seem to part with your barbecued possum. <sighs> now, I know you good old boys have good old intentions about just loving women and drinking beer, and everyone needs a good laugh now and then. So, I know you'll just be tickled pink about this week's invention. The Beer Pagers. Meet the Beer Pagers. These unique electronic drink holders have fun sounds and flashing lights. You'll be sure to crank up the fun on game days, poker nights, barbecues, and any old redneck get together. Do you go to family reunions to pick up women? 
then you found yourself a partner in the Beer Pagers. Press the Beer Pager remote to liven things up from up to 60 feet away. So, class, if you keep losing your beer and your keys in the river every time you go noodling, then grab a Beer Pager and have yourself a chuckle. Because <laughs> with this fishing buddy, the big one will never get away again. Well, there's the bell class. Till next time, have fun, be safe, and drink up. Hi, I'm Jamie Lynn. And I'm Tana. And I'm Victoria. Everyone here at Body Shots loves to have fun. And we also love a great drink. But we also know that drinking responsibly is far more important. So if you're going to have fun and drink, please do, do it responsibly. responsibly. Bartending has been around for a long time and gets more popular as the bartenders get more creative with their libations. These bartenders are going to show us the swizzle and their swizzle sticks as we begin the bartender challenge. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. They're going to be making a Cosmopolitan and a TNT. On your mark, get set, go. Natalie is our winner, but Natalie, are you ready to face off against me? Yes, I am. Okay, guys, coming up next, we have the ultimate test. We're going to see if I can pass the challenge and get my honorary bartending certificate. All right, guys, I'm back here with Natalie. Now, Natalie, you won our last challenge. Yes. And now you're going to face off against me. Little bartending challenge. Are you up for it? I am. Because I'm pretty darn good. All right, now I have my black shirt on, my black pants, my black shoes, just like you. And my hair's not done, but it doesn't look cute anyway. That's a whole other show. Um, all right, we're going to make an apple teeny and a whiskey and Coke. Yes. Now, I drink whiskey and Coke, so I've never made one, but I make one mean apple teeny. So, all right, now we're going to get started going when I say go. Okay. And on your mark, get set, go. I think I win because you don't have a, a cherry or and you have a straw in yours. <laughs> Anyways, I win. I win. It's my show. I win. That's great. Oh, that hey. Is very she is. She's awesome. I think she's one of your best students. I think so too. All right, she totally beat me. And you can always be welcome to come take a couple classes along with us. Maybe Actually, you can I, be an instructor. I'm thinking about in the off season. Don't that take I'm my gonna, job. <laughs> I, I will take your job. Um, what's this? This is uh, Jason and myself. This is an honorary certificate of, complete, of completion. Sweet. So now I can go get a bartending job anywhere. When the show's not show, showing, I can, or airing, or whatever we're doing, <laughs> I can go get a job bartending. Absolutely. Sweet. All right, guys. Now, we've taken an awesome tour of the JC Bartending Academy. We, we've learned all the amazing things that these bartenders learn to have the profession that they do. So remember, Take care of your bartenders, be nice to them, and tip them. Next, we're going to head over to the bar and spend some time with the Body Shots girls. Do you know how to make a Brave Bull? Hold up a red cape? Close. A Brave Bull is a drink made by my favorite bartender. In a glass filled with ice, add one and a quarter ounce of tequila. Next, add three-fourths of an ounce of Kahlua. What do you have to say to that? Olé! I'm sitting
sitting inside Bullwinkle's Bistro and Pub in Plano, Texas. Bullwinkle's is the place to catch up with friends and enjoy the energetic and friendly atmosphere. It's also known for its vast selection of beers, knowledgeable bartenders, and, well, lack of annoying squirrels. Let's go in and find out exactly what that's all about. Okay, so we are actually in Bullwinkle's Bistro and Pub where there's no squirrels allowed and I'm sitting with O.B. Barsh, that's O-B-I-E, right? That's correct. And we're going to talk all about this amazing Bistro and Pub and just, well, after I take a drink of this amazing drink, tell me the history of Bullwinkle's and why you chose that name. Well, actually we had a bar in Tulsa first. Okay. Okay, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yes. And uh, it was named Bullwinkle's but it was uh, named after the cartoon character, and we couldn't do that. So we changed it to the moose, because that's a generic <laughs> moose, okay? And Bullwinkles was an actual thing. And we came up with a little tag slogan, no damn squirrels allowed. Obi, thank you so much for having us. And thank you for all you do in the community. You know, I, at bars, it's amazing coming to a place like this because give back and everybody's sort of having a good time meeting new people. I mean, it's just great stuff. And the bartenders that we've been learning about today, I mean, they're in this business for the people. So you guys take care of your bartenders. They're, they, I mean, we spend a lot of time in bars drinking. I know I do anyway, so take care of them. In a minute, Victoria and I are actually going to change things up a bit and we're going to test our skills behind the bar with Linda, the general manager of Bullwinkle. So stay tuned. Bullwinkle's Bistro and Pub. Coming up, we have a brand new trivia game. And Victoria, she has a drinking game to test the limits of any drinker. But first, let's belly up to the bar with Mixology. Okay guys, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Victoria and I are going to take some chances and learn some Mixology. Well, actually from the pros. Right, Victoria? Chelsea's lying a little bit. What she really means is that we want to drink. So we have a new friend here, a lot. And Linda, <laughs> and she's gonna show us how. But wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Linda, before you make our drinks, uh -huh. I wanna know just exactly how experienced you are, because, I mean, we're experienced drinkers. We need some yeah, people. Totally, so. I've been doing this a long time, girls. So I know you. what I'm doing. And why, like, why bartending? Uh, a lot of fun, meet interesting people, and we always do it for the money at the end of the day. And the guys. Cash. And the guys. Hello. <laughs> All right, what are you making for us today? Uh, we're gonna make our signature drink here, which is the sloppy pink. Oh, well, you not kind of. I mean, it's just, it's just a mess. Just met Linda. Well, you okay. can fill in the blank All right. on that one. PG rated show. Yeah. All right, and what else? I'm sorry. And uh, we're gonna do our other signature drink, which is the Whopper. I'm getting that one for sure. <laughs> gonna take a 12 ounce goblet glass, or a Collins as we call it. And lots of ice. And lots of ice. And lots it. of liquor. You're gonna take your favorite <laughs> vodka. We're gonna do one ounce of that. Okay. You're gonna do your favorite brand of peach schnapps. You're gonna do three quarters of an ounce. Love it. We're gonna I'm so thirsty. Fill with cranberry. <laughs> and the pièce de résistance, a float of your it's favorite over 100 proof rum. Oh my gosh. Okay. You're gonna be floating out here. <laughs> You're driving. Thanks. Fantastic. So this so is the sloppy pink. Beep. Okay, fantastic. I will no, wait for you to drink. Thanks, love you. Okay, what's next? Alrighty. And the Whopper. Let's do this. Whopper starts with right your favorite brand of whiskey or bourbon. We're going to do three quarters of an ounce. <clears throat> and your favorite over oh, 100 God. proof liqueur. Oh, that is totally you. Oh, still a champ. Yeah. <laughs> You're not driving, actually. No. Some ice in your shaker. Okay, ice in the shaker. Right. And your favorite energy drink. Okay, we'll call it that. One splash. Fall on the floor. And chill. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. That is totally so all you. So dangerous. It's been a long time. That's why we call it the Whopper. It's the big one. Linda, saying. you're so awesome. Okay, thank we have you, these, Linda. These two amazing, amazing drinks that we are actually going to try now. So, is should I suck as long as you drink? I'm taking the whole Whopper in my mouth right now. Okay, Bottom let's go. Up. Ready? Bring it right, on. sister. Bottom's let's up. do it. One, do two, it. three. Oh 
Oh my gosh, mine's really, really. Oh. <laughs> Woo! No! <laughs> I'm gonna burp on you. No! <laughs> I almost yeah. don't burp. These are amazing. No, no. All right, guys, so what, what a great time here at Bullwinkles we're having, and we learned about making these amazing drinks from from Linda, and let me tell you something, guys. These bartenders work hard, so do not forget to take care of your bartenders because, Always. after all, they take care of us. Always. <laughs>
Okay, everyone, here is the third question. James Bond takes his martinis how? Contestant number three. Shaken, not stirred. That is correct. You're the winner of the show. Congratulations. Tana, tell her what she's won. It's the party starter. Combine your favorites and share with your friends. Simply place alcohol on one side and your mix on the other. This is a unique and fun way to share drinks. Don't delay, get your party started today with the party starter. Thanks, Tana. All of our contestants received the coiffer shot glass. We'll catch you next time on Body, Body Shots, Shots Trivia. Today we learned all about what it takes to be a bartender. So the next time you're at your favorite watering hole and you don't get your drink quick enough, dry those beer tears and remember exactly how hard their job really is. I'm Chelsea Prendez. Thank you for joining us here on Body Shots. We'll see you next time for another round of drinks. Goodbye from Bullwinkles and the Reloaded Band. Oh, yeah. Want more Body Shots action? You can search Body Shots TV on Facebook or check us out on BodyShotsTV.com.